So hey guys, Dankalodian here again. Now in this video, I'm just gonna be looking at another leak. I am working on the next character evidence video, but this one is proving to be quite the web of stuff that I'm having to sift through. So I thought I would take today, recharge my batteries on this because it has just been all of that stuff. But nonetheless, it'll be coming soon. So let's go on to this leak here. This leak comes from over on GameFAQs from Nintendo employee. No sell. I do not believe you'll fail one second. Now, I will be linking the source in the description so you guys can go take a look for yourselves. Okay, so let's go on with this. This dude says, hey guys, I'm not going to reveal who I am except that I do in fact work for Nintendo. Believe this leak or not, but all of this will be over soon. The next Smash Ultimate Direct is October 16th. Anyway, let me tell you the newcomers. Skull Kid from The Legend of Zelda, Sora from Kingdom Hearts, Isaac from Golden Sun, Gino from Super Mario RPG, Incineroar, who is a Gen 7 Pokemon rep, Bandana Waddle Dee from Kirby, Steve with a question mark from Minecraft, and Banjo and Kazooie from Banjo Kazooie. Echo Fighters, Ken as an Echo Fighter for Ryu, Shadow as an Echo Fighter for Sonic, Octolings as an Echo Fighter for Inkling, and Dixie Kong as an Echo Fighter for Diddy Kong, and then he goes on to list the stages and says Planet Robotron, Forest Maze, Overworld, and Gruntilda's Castle. God, Gruntilda's Castle would be so fucking amazing. Anyway, he says there are talks about DLC. The only guaranteed person right now is Springman from ARMS. Now let me tell you about Spirits Mode. It's the only way to unlock the characters. You start out with a beginning roster for the N64 except no Mario, Link, Kirby, or Captain Falcon. That's all I have to say. I will try to get an image or two to prove my point, but it's not likely. Okay, let's go through this. Again, here we go. You got Skull Kid. Yeah, Skull Kid has um, apparently been hinted at in the background of Sakurai's office. I don't have to go through that. You guys already know about it. Odds are. Sora, yeah, there are rumors going around about Sora getting in. I believe Sora is likely. This guy doesn't list which ones will be base game or DLC, but I tend to believe Sora will be in his DLC, but I feel like he could get in. Although we do have Vergapin saying that there will only be one square rep, but who knows, really. So the whole Sora Geno thing, that's pretty much the two that are fighting that out right now. But either way, you got Isaac from Golden Sun. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I could see that happening. A lot of people pulling for him. He was really popular. He's already been in Smash Brawl. You got Geno from Super Mario RPG. You guys know who Geno is. A lot of people pulling for Geno. He's got a very loud, passionate fan base. Geno has already had a costume in Smash 4. They've already worked with Square to bring Cloud in. I feel like they had to get Geno in order to do that. Incineroar, as I've said before, I don't know how to speculate on the Pokemon. There's just so much crap going on there that, yeah, it seems like Incineroar, like I said, would make the most sense because uh, a lot of people were saying there for a while, Incineroar versus Decidueye. I don't know about that, but Incineroar would probably be the one coming in. Bandana Waddle Dee, I know you guys want him in. I know Sakurai's kind of got to worry about the whole favoritism thing because it's coming from Kirby, but uh, I feel like enough people want Bandana Waddle Dee in that that would be good. Steve from Minecraft, yeah, we've got that going on there. Um, yeah, I'd say Steve. I mean, there, he's been in so, so many leaks recently. The evidence and all of that for him being in is um, just kind of all over the place. Trust me on that one. It's everywhere. Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely hoping for that one. Echoes, Ken, yeah, Ken is one of the most obvious Echoes as far as that goes. He's got a really, really good chance. Shadow coming in for Sonic. A lot of people pulling for Shadow. I'm pulling for Shadow. I know he's not an assist trophy that we've seen yet. He's not in the back of any stages, so Shadow's still out in the open as a free agent on this. He could possibly go in. I feel like he might get in, definitely. Octolings for Inkling, there's not really much I can say there, obviously, I mean, it's pretty simple. Dixie Kong for Diddy, that would be so great, I would love to see Dixie Kong in. I feel like Dixie Kong definitely does have a chance as far as people saying stuff about Diddy Kong's tail being removed to possibly accommodate a partial echo or full echo or all that jazz, whatever's going on there. Stages, sure. As I've said before, it's not really in my wheelhouse to really speculate on stages just because of the fact, you know, I've said I don't really mind stages. I could have whatever stage in. I don't care. I'm not a stage snob personally. I just fight on a surface. That's just me though. But all I could really say about it is that if Gino and Banjo do get in, Forest Maze and Gruntilda's castle would be awesome for those two to have. He goes on saying there are talks about DLC, but the only guaranteed person right now is Springman from ARMS. I could see that getting extremely annoying playing Smash. I could see that just being flat out ridiculous, but ARMS 
while less popular than a lot of Nintendo properties, was a big title in the early days for the Switch, so I could possibly see that happening. He goes on to say, let me tell you about Spirits Mode, like he's about to break out a full novel of it and it's just a sentence. So he goes and says, it's the only way to unlock characters. You start out with the beginning roster for the N64, except no Mario, Link, Kirby, or Captain Falcon. So a chunk of the original roster is taken out, which means you're left with like very few. I don't know. I mean, obviously it's a text leak. You guys know what I usually say about text leaks. Just keep in mind that they're a text leak. So odds are, you know, this is just some dude. Particularly, I mean, since he couldn't put in Nintendo employee there, but there is also the possibility, though, that when he went on GameFAQs and created this new account to post this on here with, he um, could not register as Nintendo employee because somebody else had already registered under it. I don't know. But ultimately, is this real? I would say, yeah, probably not, but it's very interesting. I mean, at least the character list is more realistic than a couple of the other ones that I've covered because, I mean, it, at least it's got like a somewhat of a realistic level of characters when you look at what could be left, plus the list of DLC possibly coming because a lot of these have a list of like 20 characters or something, and this one's just got, what, like 12 or something like that? But yeah, that's about all I really got to say about this one. Primary reason for me doing this is not putting this out there as news, it's me taking a look at the characters listed, getting a feel for what obviously the most popular characters seem to be if people who are just leaking puts them there. Having another look, soaking in the leaks, and just letting the discussion fire off down in the comments. Half of the fun for making videos for me is seeing the discussion that pops loose down in the comments after I create and post the videos. So. Thank you guys so much for all of the comments and everything. It's really great. I love just having the discussion down there because I feel like that is a huge part of this community is the amount of discussion. Whether positive or negative, discussion is a beautiful thing. So all right, guys, I guess that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop a like. Um, if you want to follow along as we make our way towards Smash Ultimate, feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you along. Thank you so much for viewing this content as worthy of your time, and I will catch you guys next time. Later.